So we all know by now that there is a new pass in this game. It's called the Smuggler's Pass, which is this one right here. If you go to your map and you go left, you can see it's basically a battle pass that you'd have in most games. And it's got 90 days, but 89 days remaining as of today. Now, we all want to be able to level up as quick as possible, where we want to be able to get the weapons. We want to be able to get the quartermasters. We want to get the shipmasters. And most importantly, we want to be able to get that new boat. Well, in this video, what I'm actually going to do is I, alongside of you, am going to find the fastest and the best way to level up in this game. Now, there is certain places that I think are going to be great, but in order to be able to figure out how the smuggler points work, we're going to have to find where we can get the most of them. So, yes, there are challenges. Captain Batman TV, appreciate the follow over on Twitch. There are challenges, so we've got the weeks where you can complete your 15 job boards, you can complete your merchant convoys, and you can complete your waves. Now, these are all great because obviously each thousand is one token. So, right here, we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So, that's 17. Then, on this page, I've only got one more left, so it'd be 18. And obviously, if I complete the whole wave, I'm getting another five. So, I can get 23. But even if I get 23 on the current amount that I've got, that wouldn't put me still at 90. I still wouldn't even be at 60. Sorry, I wouldn't even be at 50. So we're going to have to find a faster way of leveling up. So that's the reason I'm making this video. And the way we're going to do this, as I said, is we're going to go around and we're going to try and figure out methods. So let's look at the top. The smuggler points right now, I'm going to pull up an empty piece of paper and I'm going to write down on it for me and for your purposes. This way we can all understand how it works. So 472 out of 1000. Now I'm going to exit the dock right here, right now, and I'm going to set sail. The current ship I am using is the Sandbook, by the way, and I just got myself Le Fur, because um, I wanted to try that out. I am going to destroy one of these maps because I don't need it. But I'm going to set sail, and now that I've done that, I'm going to kill just one of these tiny little ships that we find just here in the ocean. So let's take, for instance, this ship that's right in front of us right here it's a level one and then also we got that tiny little dowie over there that i'm going to go and kill so this one here if i kill it it's given me on the right 50 experience now if we zoom in on the la peste map the smugglers pass that hasn't actually taken up the smugglers points it's still sitting at 472 so what's wrong there okay that's not good so let's kill this tiny little smuggling boat here. That got me 50, and it's now made me hostile. So let's quickly check what that's done. That has still not given me any smuggler points. That's still zero points. What about if we kill a tower? I'm gonna kill some ships as well, just to get them out of the way. Now, did that give me any points? Now we're still at 472, but my XP is definitely going up in the game. Okay, so let's loot all that, and now let's destroy this tower. So I got 100 points for that. How about when we go back to the Smuggler's Pass? I still have got nothing. Right, so we're about to hit Kingpin. So let's quickly level up and see what happens when we hit Kingpin. If we hit Kingpin, or when we hit Kingpin, is that going to give us some more Smuggler's Points? So still at 472. But if I go over to my captain, how much experience I'm missing. If I kill one more ship, no matter the size, I will then rank up to Kingpin. Or another Kingpin rank. So let's just go over here. We can see there's a little ship over here. And can we hit him with our rockets? I should probably put on that new uh, Lefer cannon. Because I've just unlocked it and see what it does. Oh no, I can't reach him. I'm sailing against the wind. How can I be sailing against the wind? I've got side-on panels. He's one hit, because so I'm not close enough. Two hits to finish him off. And we should now have gone up a rank. Did we not go up a rank? Yes, we did. Okay, so now we've gone up a rank, and the smugglers pass. We have gone from 472 to 512. 
So does that mean from going from one rank to the other, we've only managed to get ourselves what 40 XP? That's a bit odd. That's going to take a while to go up. So that's not really good. What about if we start a plunder? What's going to happen if we start a plunder? Well, let's, let's uh, actually harvest some bog iron. Does that give us anything? No, zero XP. But has it changed in the smugglers pass? No, it's still not gone up. It's still at 512. So let's just put 512 XP kingpin. I'm going to put king here on the paper. Now let me quickly just pun plunder plunder this lumber yard. So I will skip to the end of this plunder, just so you guys can see the breakdown. Because obviously, if I'm sitting here doing the whole plunder on the video, then it's going to be quite long for you. But let me know in the comments as well if you'd like me to do this actually next time and you want to see me plunder the whole thing, then I will go ahead and show the whole thing. Let's look at the smuggler pass. We're at 512 still, and we have collected the part, first part of the plunder. One ship down. Okay, so now I think we have completed the plunder. Let's see what XP we get. Let's accept that. They're all going to get back on the ship. And we're going to go ahead and look at the smugglers pass once more. So we got 40 points there and we completed a plunder. Let's go to smugglers pass. We're still on 512. So that means we got nothing. Now it does say there, earn smuggler points by gaining infamy or completing challenges. So I've been gaining infamy, but I haven't been getting smuggler points. Right. So let's go and try and do a quest maybe. Now, there is a quest that we know that gives serious amounts of EXP. So, let's quickly just sail back to the dock. I would heal up, but there's no point in healing up. I could just simply repair my ship in a moment. Jack, relax. <laughs> what are you doing over there, bud? What is showing over there? Is a hostile takeover? Or are you doing a run? My silver is running low, guys. I just uh, tried making another video. Spent 600,000. Unfortunately, I can't release that video until uh, I obtain a bit more silver. Okay, now I'm back at the dock. Oh, I wonder if I collect my mail, my kingpin chest. Opening that, if that gives me any uh, more XP. Let's check the mailbox. Sun celebrity. Cargo. I don't get an XP, but if I go to my cargo and open it we got the repair long gun but nothing happened I don't think let's go to the smugglers pass and we've somehow managed to jump up to 752 does wait so is it when you open a kingpin chest you get XP or is it just taking a while for it to register what I've got so 752 opening chest okay that's rather bizarre. Now, let's try and fast travel to Telok. And the reason we're fast traveling here because it is a seriously good quest that you can just constantly rinse and repeat once an hour, basically like your uh, roving missions and stuff. And it does drop a lot of XP. So, let's go over here. But where is... I want to talk to the Smugglers Network here and see if they've got any more quests because I'm still missing two quests from the Smugglers Network that haven't appeared so if you guys know where to get them drops I cannot let me know or have I got to talk to him to There's see if he then provides me with more You'll quests do something these no he does not right so that's not good I enough trust. that's not kicking it I go to the job board have I got them quests that we was on about no and these only give 50 infamy each one so the quest we really want to do is we want to head all the way back to the far end. And you know where you completed the story and there's Rama? Well, Rama herself has got a quest. And the quest, I believe, well, we're going to see right now. But I believe it gives 1,250 EXP. 
Um, or infamy, let's say, rather than experience, because experience is infamy in this game. And it's very, very easy to do. So if we do the Arms of Night, there you go. It's just 1,250. Let's accept that. Okay, I'm going to hold to track it. If you want to listen to the dialogue, obviously, when you're doing it yourself, then uh, then do it. Enjoy right, I'm going to back mission. out of here. I end and now I'm going to fast travel to the actual location. So here I'm going to press the back button. And with pressing the back button, I'm going to zoom out, and I know that it's here. So I'm going to fast travel to the Necropolis. And as soon as I come out here at the Necropolis, there's a tiny little river that I can just travel through here to the right, just here. I'm going to head through here, and just on the other side, I will be able to find the enemy ship. Oh, nice. So one of you have joined on me. Serban Daddy, let's go. Welcome in. This will make it a little bit easier. Maybe we get better loot as well. Now, I want to see if the experience coming in was staggering. Has it gone up? It's gone up. No, it's not. It was 752 last time we checked it. It was 512 the time before. So after killing this one ship, let's look at the experience and we'll give it a moment before we kill anything else and just see if it just takes a while for the experience to come in. Because that might be what's happening. It's maybe it's taken a while for the experience to trickle in. And if so, then we just need to find the best place to farm enemies to get the most experience. And if that is the case, then we need to find a trade route where there's loads of ships and just keep spamming, killing all of them enemies. So let's out, head out here. And we are looking for the ship, which is the DMC Transporter. Is it that one that we see? It is. It's a DMC Transporter. So let's quickly go over it to it and kill it. I love these sails, by the way. I think they are so cool. You get that from the premium and then also buying in the start menu, the store, going over to the store sorry, itself, heading over to the currency. And when you're on currency, there is a seasonal gold purchase. And that's where you'll get the sale pattern so you can have the full purples. Right, he's killed it before I've even managed to get to it. That's quite hilarious. So he killed it and we got the nickel scheme. Now when we've got the nickel scheme, we just want to simply go to the cargo, open it and read it. Now that we've read it, we can hide that. And then here on the map... We should see the next location. Arms of the Night. Tracking. Read Nickel Scheme in your cargo to learn more about Rama's contraband weapons. Okay, so we did read it, but it's not um, popping up. So let me kill him. Quickly kill this ship. So let's read that again. Let's go to my cargo. Read. And it says the storage is full at the Necropolis from the recent acquisitions. Right. So it says the storage is full. We're waiting for whoever Blue is to read it. Otherwise, it's not going to continue. So, Sermon Daddy, you need to read the quest. It's a shame how both of you got to read it, because I don't want to have to kick him from the group. Let's head back through this river. Let's get out of there. Hopefully he's following through as well. Well, hopefully he's not following through. Hopefully he's following behind me through the river. <laughs> Keep this moving. Right, there you go. He searched for it. So it says search for the contraband, but we, as reading it, it did say that it was in here. And it's probably going to be the little box as soon as you dock. Now, I have done this before, but it was obviously a couple of days ago. So the exact spot, I'm not too sure. But I think as soon as you go in, it's to the right. And it's right there near the port when you dock in here. So let's disembark. And then let's go looking for this box. There it is. Let's open it. 
And once it's open, let's submit. I've completed my part. I think he needs to complete his part. Serving daddy. Come over here. Where is he? Okay, he's coming into dark. Oh, it, you know, it's really cool that you can still see them sailing their ships. Even though I'm on land. When you're out there, can you actually see the person on land? I don't know. I've never checked. I wonder if he can see me as I can see him. Curious. So now he's going to go over to the box. Over here, Zerban. Right here, this box. There we go. Now we should get the XP. Now we killed a ship, so before he actually gets that, it's gone up to 792 and we got 50 XP. So we got 40 XP. 792. Hmm. This isn't making sense. But I just got 1,250, right? So let's put 1,250 on top of that. <laughs> let's have a little boogie. Let's go, Serban Daddy. Right, and let's have a look to see what happens in the smugglers pass. So, how long is it going to take to refresh? What are we saying? About one minute or two minutes? And if we were to get 1,250 on top of that to be exact, let me do the math because my, my math is not mathing today. It's going to be 2,042. Am I correct in saying that? So, that should clear it up and it should be 42. Yeah, that's, that's correct, right? Put 250 on top of 792. Plus the 42, plus the 1,000, it should be 2,042. So we should be sitting at 42 in the smugglers' points if that registers, just on infamy alone. So let me put that down and write that down on there. Let's give it a moment. Let's maybe cause a, an action. So let's go to, I don't know, St. Anne. Okay, we've got smugglers' marks, so it's registered. Now let's have a look. So now it's showing 292. So it's gone from 792 to 292. Now if that's done that, what was the jump up? Was that 500? 3, 4, 5. Give us 500 out of 1,250. How does that work? But we do know that getting infamy is getting us smuggler points. So the quicker we can get infamy, the quicker we can get smuggling points. So now we need to simply just find out the fastest way of getting infamy. Now, there is an extremely fast way. Let's try and do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fast travel back to St. Anne. And now that we've arrived at St. Anne, I'm going to go over and collect that mail. Because apparently I had some mail, unless it was just to say... Um, that I had something in my cargo and I need to put it over. It's probably to say that. And we're still going to go check the mail just in case. No, there's nothing in it. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the helm. Because we need to get pirate ships after us. And we need to get a lot of pirate ships after us for this to work then properly. So I'm going to go to the distillery. No, I don't need to go to the distillery. Oh, hobnobs. Yes. Appreciate the follow. Uh, I need to go to the order registry because we do know that if we accept orders, we get pirates after us. And pirates at this level give us a huge amount of XP. So fast travel is not available to that. Okay, let's um, still accept all of these. Let's try and get as many as possible. Right, there was a lot there. Okay. So we've accepted all of them. And in our inventory... Let me repair. Manage cargo. I'm going to put all this in here quickly. And I'm going to need to get myself a load of cannonballs. I've got myself some heals. I'm probably going to need some more heals. I'm definitely going to need more food. So let me just quickly sling all these repair kit twos in here. Let me... Get some... Hmm. Ah, this is what I wanted to get from my storage. I wanted to go into manage cargo. And I wanted to go down. By the way, guys, if you are noticing today that um, I'm a little bit calmer, it's because I am quite tired. Yesterday was very eventful. 
and it was incredible and it's blown me away but it has obviously taken a lot of my energy out of me but that's nothing against it, it was the probably one of the best nights it, it was the best night ever streaming but one of the best nights I've ever had gaming in general right so let's go down and let's go and equip LeFou because I want to try this out so transfer the cargo and I want to take these so the plague bring a captain's head so I want to transfer the cargo carrying these builds hostility with a fleet of pestilence and may even attract an especially powerful foe William Blackwood seeks this so transfer the cargo okay I'd actually I didn't need to transfer that that to my cargo that can go back in there that's just in case I lose it so manage ship I'm going to put weapons I'm going to go down to my auxiliary and I'm going to chuck that on um, have I got mortar bombs on me? I do. I just need more cannonballs. So let's now go out into the open sea. But let's go get the cannonballs first. Head out here. And I'm going to head straight down here. And I'm going to head straight to the blacksmith vendor. Also, guys, in the comments down below, if you are struggling with anything in this game, let us know. Join the Discord. All the descriptions down in the, the link. Also, Ubisoft has partnered up with me and provided a giveaway. So down in the description, you'll find the giveaway as well. Go over to that, Welcome follow the back, details, Captain. and you've got a chance of you winning the premium ever. edition of Skull and Bones for Xbox. I'm going to craft new items, and I'm going to go to Cannonballs, and I'm going to go to the actual Cannonballs themselves. And I'm going to craft. So I can only craft myself that many, which is 500. Oh! We are running low, so let me go over and buy some. And I'm going to need to get myself some metal scrap so I can actually uh, craft myself some more, which I get from shipwrecks. So we might have to do a shipwreck run to get some more There's cannibals. Buy and sell. Um, and let's what go to cannibals as well and buy what I can get over here. I'm going to need some food as well, so I'm just going to buy these. This just so I can keep bracing. Supplies are running low, lads. Surprise, su supplies are running low. Let me craft this. And now that we've crafted it, we want to go to a spot where there is a lot of merchant ships. So in this case, if I look on the map... Oh, wait. We've got the interaction bug, so let's go back to the cookery. So it'll back out, and now I should be able to look at the map. Okay, so... I'm going to zoom out and we want to find one of these static paths. The international trade route, you see this trade route that's running through here? That means there's going to be a constant spawn because it's probably one of the shortest international trade routes. We've got these international trade routes, but because they're very long, there's not going to be that many ships. So we want to head in this direction. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to set sail and I'm just going to head towards that area. But while I'm heading towards that area, I've got so many contracts activated and I've also got, um, what else have I also got? And I've got them heads on me. So when I went in the cargo, I'm carrying three of the Plague Bringer Captain's heads. So I should be basically attracting so many pirates. And I'm just going to rinse and repeat and try and kill all of the pirates possible. I want to take the damage reduction. I'm going to use damage regen. I'm going to use this one. Um, and we're doing this. We should be set to level up so quick. So, did our infamy go up any more? No, it's still sitting at 292. Right, let's kill some pirates and see what one pirate gives us. Because the pirates we do know give us, like, really high... Let's try and drop that on them. I've got some more pirates behind me as well. I've got one of them pirates behind me. Okay, we dropped the poison on them, but it's ticking them slowly. I'd much rather the flooding damage. That would probably be a bit more powerful. That's going to hurt. So the reason I'm using the sandbook build is for that. Because you see I kill one and it kills both. Right, let's kill this ship. These ships are really, really tanky. But the sandbook yet again kills these quite quick. So it's probably one of the best ships to take it down with. They are hard. You cannot escape the blade king's green Let me get a bit closer because I've got the uh, build on that heals me when I do.
do and interact. So this should now heal me back up if you look at my health at the bottom left. Every time I do that, that's 8,000 health. And I get my crew attack back really, really quick. There we go. So I could crew board, but I couldn't then. And I'm just basically got an invincible build here where I'm just going to keep healing up and keep dealing as much damage as possible. I somehow managed to start a fight with the company, but I don't know how much uh, XP he dropped. I wasn't really looking. Okay, we've got that Jack Relax over there fighting some pirates. I'm going to head to the direction I said I was going because I want to show you that spot. It's a really, really, really good spot to farm. Um, but pirates are over there killing everyone. I think he's just killed them. Nice, let's go. And I'm just going to set sail. Try and avoid. I might as well take that extra 50 XP. Cheers, mate. That looks so cool. Wait, what did I hit? Look, I'm not going to drop the bomb on these guys. I'm going to actually go up and just do a normal attack. Watch how much damage this does. There's another pirate ship coming over. Okay, we're going to get a lot of pirate ships coming. We might not even have to go to that trade spot. We're going against winds. We do a crew attack. No, they died too quick for us to even be able to do a crew attack. Well, I'll be able to get a crew attack on him. Closer, throw some fire bombs, heal up. We want to try and use as less medikits as possible. Remember, these guys are going to drop me silver as well, so I'm actually going to get a lot of silver back. Missed. Oh wow! This is getting pretty serious. got on fortified yeah so if I'm struggling I can just pop my uh, small kits anyway so that doesn't matter Let's take him out oh you're quick bro board him got him that will heal us up again to full and just keeps us in the fight so much longer. So I'm going to do this for another five minutes while I'm talking to you. And that way we'll look back and see exactly how much XP I'm getting just from leaving this spot. Oh wow, that, that's hitting me hard. Wait, did I hit him with the crew board in? I did. It was too late. Okay, I've got this Jack Relax here helping. We've got a lot of us here just killing them. I'm only getting 65 XP though for some of these. So let's go back and check the Smuggler's Pass. And we're at 936. So that's gone from what? What we're 292 to 936 in the matter of 5 minutes? 10 minutes maybe? That wasn't long at all. And then level 2 kits on the Sandbook take it all the way back up. Which is amazing. So maybe it's killing these pirates that are actually doubling up our points, the amount that we're getting. Um, so we could probably get one level on the battle pass every five to ten minutes. And we're going to need a total of, was it 90? So if we say 90 and it takes five to ten minutes. Oh, 
So what have we got to divide that down to? One second. 90 times 5. Let me kill these and then I pull up the calculator. Did we get the crew board in? No. But that's both of them dead. And they're 170 each. So just killing them should have probably put us up. Yeah, there we go. We've got another smuggler's mark. Right, that's it, guys. This is the fastest official way of completing your smugglers pass. Just set up, get, get as many of them contracts as possible. Set as many ships on fire as possible. And just keep battering away. And if you get one of these, this is probably one of the most effective builds against him as well. Throw fire bombs and that will heal us up. When he rams into us, it's actually still going to heal us up, so it doesn't matter. Get around the other side. Bam. Gets a little bit closer and we can heal up again. There we go. Throw some fire bombs. Heal up again. So it's a very good sustainable build. And if you guys want to build, let me know in the comments down below as well. And I'll put the build, uh, make a video on this build and you can just keep rinsing and repeating. Because it's probably going to be the best build for this. Do you know what? Actually, after this video, I'll make a video on this build. So you guys have got it. We managed to crew board. I don't know how. But I'll take it. That heals us up. There we go. We just saw our health jump all the way back up again. And we are still getting so much flipping silver. Right, where are we at on the smugglers pass? Because we have ranked up. We're already at 238. So guys, I think that about does it. This is the fastest way of doing it. Is getting all of them contracts. Getting this build. Sailing to sea. And killing as many pirates as possible. And in theory, if you come to this area... You've got all of them merchant ships as well, which I think are 160 XP each one of them. So it's just you're just doubling up not just the pirate ships, you're also doubling up the merchant ships. Maybe this is enough. Maybe this is enough ships before it gets too hard. But if you do want to try and kill some more, head over there and just rinse and repeat this, and the XP will just keep climbing as we're seeing. So like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.